Today we're here through the amazing effort by the Los Angeles City and five council members who have invited us to come and raise awareness, talk about this important topic that's ovarian cancer. Through this collaborative effort with the city, we are going to be lighting City Hall and the LAX pylons in the color teal, which is the color of ovarian cancer. Hopefully we can raise awareness, educate more women, we can increase funding for research, and ultimately provide better outcomes for patients who are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. We're here with the incredible women of the ovarian cancer circle, and we're here to educate about ovarian cancer. Uh, it has impacted our lives in so many different ways, and I know that for me personally, it's impacted me because I lost my mother at a very, very young age, at the age of 54, to ovarian cancer. And we have lost so many young women, and, and I think it's so important that we do everything within our power to support these incredible women. And we're here to implore those who hold positions of, of political power, especially at the federal level, because these are the mothers, these are the wives, these are the sisters and the next door neighbors and the co-workers are those individuals who hold political power in Washington, D.C. Exercise that political power to protect the women who we love so dearly in our lives. I found in the circle in 2011, so this will be our 12th year. I actually started it to honor the memory of my daughter, Robin, who lost her life to ovarian cancer at 20. So I knew nothing about ovarian cancer. Uh, we didn't know the right questions to ask, so I decided I had to make a difference and I had to keep her memory alive. The challenge with ovarian cancer is that the signs and symptoms can actually be somewhat subtle. And many women actually don't know about those signs and symptoms. And also physicians sometimes are not, are not cued and don't think about the possibility of diagnosis of ovarian cancer. So unfortunately, the vast majority of women, when they're diagnosed with ovarian cancer, the cancer is disseminated at stages three and four. And that is the problem that we are trying to solve through our research. I have made it my passion and my commitment to educate and save women's lives because if you know the symptoms and you know the correct questions to ask when you go to your gynecologic oncologist, you will have a better chance of surviving the disease. And I'm so thrilled to say we have raised $1 million and it's all for research, for better detection, for treatments, and hopefully at some point a cure for ovarian cancer.